Good morning to you from All Saints Gislam Church. I was thinking recently about what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, if you take a glass and you want to put clean water into it, and there's already messy, gungy stuff at the bottom of the glass, it's obvious that when you put that clean water into that glass, it's going to be contaminated. So first of all, the vessel has to be cleansed. And that's what God does with us. When the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, and there are numerous scriptures about the Holy Spirit, which I don't want to elaborate on in this very short message, but we're exhorted, aren't we, to be filled with the Spirit, not to be drunk with wine, but to be filled with the Spirit, to be filled with every goodness of God that brings forth the fruit of the Spirit that is spoken of in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Well, those things can't be part of our lives, can they? If there's gunge at the bottom of our glass. If we think we've been filled with the Spirit fully, and yet there's that contaminated part of our life, that little corner where God hasn't yet penetrated by his, his word, by the sword of his spirit. So today, I exhort you to, if there's anything in your life, if, even if there isn't, you don't think there is, but just to come before God and just to say, Lord, if there's anything in my life, any gunge in the corner of my, my temple that is yet not given over to you, today I empty myself completely so that you will fill me with your Holy Spirit. It's a daily, momentarily thing, in a way. It's an hourly thing. It's, it's part of our lives. It's part of the relationship that we have with Jesus, that we completely give ourselves over to him because sin crouches at our door, doesn't it? It waits to, to grab us, to snare us, and then suddenly we're captivated. So let us watch and pray. And let us surrender every corner of the temple of our bodies, of our lives, of our relationships, so that we can walk filled with the Spirit and power to be a witness to others. So have a good day.